guys, welcome back. Today I will be testing out the most popular makeup brand in 2020, which is Rare Beauty from Selena Gomez. OMG. And one thing about it is that it's vegan, cruelty free, so that's a plus. I'm very excited for this because I'm extremely picky when it comes down to makeup. So hopefully these products don't disappoint. And if I'm not the best reviewer, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm gonna try my best to give you guys as much information, but please bear with me, guys. But besides that, my skin type is a combination, so that might be helpful for some of you if you guys are looking into this brand. And I want to be 100% honest with you guys. I wouldn't want you guys to purchase a product that I feel like is not worth buying. So I'm going to try to give you guys my very um, honest opinion. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So I'm going to first name you guys a product she has in her line. So... She has multiple foundations in 48 shades. She also has concealers, 48 shades as well. She has a primer, a touch-up kit, a liquid liner, and she only has a shade black. Hopefully, she comes out with more in the future. And she also has an eyebrow pencil and gel in eight shades. She has a dewy lip balm, eight shades. She has a liquid skin luminizer, eight shades as well. A liquid blush, eight shades, and two brushes, a multitasking sponge, and a matte lip cream in 12 shades. So yeah, guys, and this is very affordable, guys. I personally expected this to be a lot more expensive, but that's also a plus, guys. So we're going to go in first with the eyebrow pencil, guys. So this is called the Brown Harmony Pencil and Gel. This is in shade Deep Brown. It's a dual ended waterproof pencil and tinted brow gel with a precision brush to scope and set. So I do love the fact that it has two ends to it. So one side is a triangle um, eyebrow pencil and the other side is the gel. And this one you can really get in there to lift up your eye, your, ugh, to lift up your eyebrows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoolie to brush my hairs into place. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the brow pencil in shade Deep Brown. So I'm already seeing a difference. The shade looks really pretty. Um. You can see like a little goes a long way, so try not to apply as much. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my regular brush and work with already on my eyebrow. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up. Okay, so I already went ahead and cleaned them up and I love how it's on my eyebrows guys i really love how it applied it looks very natural so that's something i really like because i already have dark eyebrows so when i do apply product on my eyebrows i prefer a very natural eyebrow so yeah now let's go ahead and move on with the primer so this little baddie is called always an optimus illuminating primer it's a weightless Universal gel primer enriched with the ultra fine pearls for a lip form with thin glow. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what's the hype about. So I'm going to go ahead and pump two on my fingers. And it has a little pearl undertone. So that looks so pretty. Let's go ahead and apply. I'm going to go ahead and apply on my forehead, on my nose, on my cheeks and on my chin. So far it feels so good and it does give you that super dewy finish on the skin. That along with some concealer will do guys. That looks so pretty. You just apply concealer on your red spots and it looks super pretty because with a dewy skin and just cover up the little redness, it will look super pretty guys. 
and just to let you guys know the container is plastic it's not glass so just in case if it falls best believe this is not gonna break guys because it's plastic and it is recyclable so pretty good now i'm going in with the foundation this foundation is called the liquid touch weightless foundation i got it in shade 270 and this is a foundation and lecture that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow so i did hear you have to shake it before opening it because it's very liquidy at the top so so i was able to swatch it and 270 n works best for me and this one does have an olive undertone which i personally love so once i open it it has this little wand where you could easily apply it onto the skin so let's get right into that Let me go ahead and cover them little pimples. So now to blend it out, I'm going to go in with her Kabuki brush. And this one is called the Liquid Touch Brush. It's a cruelty-free foundation brush packed with soft, silky bristles that build, blend, and buff. So let's go ahead and see what's this baddie about. Okay, so this feels very silky and smooth on the skin, but at the same time, very natural. And it's also very lightweight on the skin, guys, so I personally love that. So this is how it looks. Some parts are matte, but you can still see your natural girl. So that's something really pretty about it. And you are able to achieve a full coverage look, but if you like a natural finish, then just apply a little bit. But I personally like a full coverage finish. So I did apply a little more than usual. But yeah, guys, that's just me. But if you guys like a natural, then just apply a little bit. So now I'm moving in with the concealer. And this is called the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. And this is in shade 270. So she did pair up the foundation and the concealer together. So you guys can just get the little pair. But this is a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable cake-free coverage. And just to let you guys know, I love me some concealers that last long, that are full coverage, and that do not crease. So let's see what this one is about. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So once I open it, it's like a triangle. So this is very perfect to go under your eye. So let me go ahead and apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with Selena Gomez sponge. And this one is called Liquid Touch Multitasking Sponge. And this is a plush sponge with a diamond shaped tip for a precise application and customizable coverage so let me see i'm gonna go ahead and do half my face and then with the other half she also came out with her concealer brush so i'm gonna go ahead and blend the other half with the concealer brush and let's see which one i personally prefer so this is her um, concealer brush, and it's also shaped like a kabuki brush, but in a mini version, you can say. And this one is called the Liquid Touch Brush. And it's a cruelty-free concealer brush with uniquely sculpted bristles and a pointed tip for a precise coverage brush. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the other half with this brush. Let's see if I really like it. I personally don't ever blend out my concealer with brushes because I personally prefer sponges. I mean, I personally prefer um, beauty blenders, but let's see. So now that I blend that out with her sponge and her brush, I personally prefer the sponge because I feel like the brush removes a lot of the product. So I will stick to the sponge. But yeah, guys, the concealer looks very pretty, very lightweight, but I personally prefer more of a full coverage concealer. But she does go for like a natural look, so this looks very natural on the skin, so I can't complain about that. 
there's gonna be natural Rachel and full coverage Rachel so right now I'm in the natural side so now I'm going in with her liquid blush and this one is called the soft pinch dewy liquid blush and this one is in shade happy and this one is a long-lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully for soft healthy skin so I did hear a little goes a long way so I'm gonna go ahead and apply about one or two dots and see how that goes on my skin and I love the packaging on this. The top reminds me of Mickey ears, so that's very pretty. So this also has a triangle um, tip to it that could really go in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my cheekbone. I think that's a little too much, but who cares, right? We love some blush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the back of the sponge. Okay, I like it, guys. And she either has a matte blush or dewy blush. But since I always use matte blushes, this time around, I wanted to pick up the dewy one. And it looks really nice on the skin. Very natural. It looks really nice, guys. I'm in love with it. Like, you know, sometimes you might not have blush on and you feel like something's missing. And as soon as you apply the blush, like, that gives you so much life into your face. Because it just brightens up your face and make it look very nice and pretty, you know. Let me take a little mini break. I really love this. Very pretty. I highly recommend this product. Now moving on with the highlighter, guys. And this one is called the Positive Liquid Light Luminizer. And I got this in shade Outshine. And this one is a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lit from within glow. And this one is also available in eight shades. And I did pick up this one because it's like a pearl champagne and I love like yellow undertone. And I will be applying it on the back of my hand to apply it with my finger just because I'm able to control my finger. So I'd rather apply it on the back of my hand. So I just grabbed a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and put it with my middle finger. And I'm applying it on my cheekbone. So it looks very settled on the skin, but I prefer a more intense highlighter. But if you like a little bit of glow, then this is for you guys. It looks really nice for like a, just a regular natural day. But yeah, guys. So now I'm going in with her eyeliner and this was in shade black. And she only has black for now. Hopefully she comes out with other colors in the future. But this one will do for now. But this one is called Perfect Strokes Matte Look It. And this one is called the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. And this one is an intense waterproof liner that delivers bold, even strokes with a calligraphy style brush. I normally don't like waterproof eyeliners just because I hate to struggle removing it. But, I mean, let's just go ahead and give it a try, you know? I mean, it won't hurt, right? So let me go ahead and open it and it has a thin to thick applicator so let's see what it does and whenever i mess up i grab a little bit of concealer and clean the edges and blend it out of course I'm going to go ahead and grab her sponge and use the tip of it. So now that I finished applying it, let me go off camera and apply some mascara. So I'll be right back. So I want to go ahead and apply some mascara. I didn't want to apply some falsies because I want to give you guys the most natural look out of her products. So yeah, I only applied some mascara and it looks pretty nice, guys. So now moving on with the lip balm, guys. So I want to go ahead and pick up Empathy. And this one is called 
with Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in shade Empathy, like I said. And this one is a hydrating fuzz free balm that adds a tint of just kiss color and soft skin. So something I really like about these lip balms is they're like a everyday use. Okay, that's something that I really do consider when buying lip balms. So I apply the most at the bottom and at the top I just dab it just because I don't want it to be too harsh of a color. So it's like a glossy finish and I love the fact that lip balms have that tint and color to it now. So I really like that because I love lip balms guys. You know sometimes you don't want to wear as much makeup or you just want to apply some mascara and your lips might look dry or pale. So you just apply this and it looks super nice. And like I said, it's like an everyday use. So now I'm going in with her lip cream. And this one is called the Lip Sofe Matte Lip Cream. And I got it in shade Transform. And this one is a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish. So let me go ahead and apply it for you guys. Oh wait, before that, let me go ahead and take this one off. By the way, this lip balm is really good, guys. Like, it's very hydrating on the lips. So, I love me some hydrating lip balms. So, now let me go ahead and apply this baddie right here. I just applied it guys and the consistency is very velvety. I love the way it feels on my lips. I, it feels like I have nothing on. Like it's very lightweight. Like honestly it has just became my very favorite lip cream. And I only picked up this one but best believe I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest because it feels so bomb guys. So let me go ahead and see if it's kiss approval. As you can see, it's not as mad like it came off, but I mean, I could live with that because I love the consistency. It's very nice on my lips, so I love that. Like, it feels like I have nothing, and it's not very, like, patchy and stuff. You know, some lipstick is very patchy, and, like, you can never go like that. Like, it's just very hydrating on the lips. I really love this, guys. So, that's a plus. So I really love that. So, now, moving in with her setting mist. And this one is called Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. It's a glow-boosting mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes skin. So let me go ahead and apply it. I first like to see how I miss, you know, so I can see from what distance I want to apply it from, but... It smells very good and the smell isn't too strong. So I personally prefer setting mist that just smell just right, like not too strong, but it also feels very fresh on the skin, guys. So I really love this. And it's pretty big, guys, and it has 2.87 ounces. So it's pretty good. I really like this. But I mean, now I'm gonna let you guys know my favorite and my least favorite. And my favorite products are the setting mist, of course the lip cream and the liquid blush and my least favorite products are the concealer because i am seeing it right now that it's a creasing a little bit and it's not as full coverage but i do know that it's for like a very natural finish but i do like i said i do love full coverage and non-creasing concealers but i mean overall this is really good but it's not my favorite and this one i feel like once i try to blend it out it did remove a lot of the products so that's something i personally don't like but the products that i do like that it's right in between is the brow pencil and the eyeliner I, I do like these products, but the only thing I dislike is that they're waterproof. I totally dislike waterproof products just because I struggle removing them. I mean, it's not as hard, but I just rather not. I, I don't know if you guys can relate, but yeah, guys, these are really good. I do like the eyeliner. It's very matte, and I love the fact that it doesn't smear, and it's very bold. So I really do like it, but I just don't like the fact that it's waterproof. But I do love the fact that it's very affordable. All these products are under 
$30. So I was very surprised with that. I honestly thought it was going to be more expensive. But I mean, that was really good. So yeah, guys, this concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications to get notified whenever I post new videos. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.